Hello, sinners. It is I, Father Evil, and I invite you to Destination Station on YouTube. Bagels can go to Destination Station. This buddy is the bomb. Yep. Yep. Fucking A. Yep. I had to say that for a reason. Freddy, take that, motherfucker. All right. Okay. Fuck you. Jamie Kennedy. Subscribe to my man, Destination Station, right now if you want the best content. What's up? Welcome to Destination Station as always. I'm Destin. Thank you for clicking on this video. Subscribe to Destination Station if you want Scream, Halloween, and everything in between. And today we're talking another theory about Saw X. And I wanted to bring this to y'all's attention before. Also, before we get started, uh, if you want to follow me on any of my socials or anything like that, links are down in the description below. And also consider subscribing if you haven't already because we have Scream Talk and Dose of Horror Talk uh, every single week so uh, yeah be a part of the conversation and here is just some of the perks if you want to become a member hey, let me get to the damn fucking part so there was this behind the scenes photo that came out before we got the trailer or anything and you know when I saw it I was like oh okay I didn't think much of it but after seeing the movie and uh, knowing what Saul is all about, about twists and, and turns and all that kind of stuff. And we know that this film is set between the events of Saul 1 and Saul 2. But I have made the argument that doesn't mean we're not going to get anything present time at all. And then do a time jump. Or maybe the beginning starts off uh, in present day and, and when we go backwards. I don't know. Or maybe it does it on both ends. Like the beginning, we get a little bit of something, and then the end, we get a little bit of something. Now, this right here, this image that I'm putting up right here, is it makes me think that this will be probably somewhere uh, near the end. Um, maybe this might be the last scene of the movie. You know, we don't know. Um, but we see this kid coming up to John Kramer and talking to him, and it seems like this is a maybe an important conversation and I'm starting to think like who could this possibly be and uh, if you've seen the thumbnail of my video you already kind of know where I'm going with it here is uh, is the detective uh, Krink for uh, what shink from uh, <laughs> from from spiral you know I always wondered like are they even gonna like talk about spiral are we gonna get any kind of closure to that because we know how he got away and we know that Chris Rock is stuck um in the end of of that you know uh so so we don't know if we're if that's just going to be like just tossed out the window and and not be canon at all but you know spyro was canon to the saw franchise so why wouldn't saw x be also so are they going to answer any of those questions now i my first thought is saying no they're not because this is set between saw one and saw two so we're it's kind of like a prequel sequel um, but it doesn't mean that it's not going to leave off in some way that maybe after the events of everything that takes place in Saw X and, uh, you know, John Kramer's like contemplating about his life and sitting there on the bench and this kid, like maybe a ball rolls up to John and the kid comes and grabs it or whatever, you know, I'm just thinking of a scenario and, and John just kind of like talks to him you know and maybe uh this kid talks about how his dad died so you know i don't want to give away any spoilers if you haven't seen S uh, spiral but you know maybe he touches on that and maybe the movie closes just like that just to kind of give you some insight that um that john had an influence on this kid at a very young age which grew up to be detective shink i think i'm saying his name right but uh he's a fantastic actor uh if you ever seen the movie horns with daniel radcliffe and him uh check it out it's a really cool bizarre movie it's got some like really creepy in imagery it's just a well-directed movie too but it's definitely not for everybody it's 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 wild but it's also a whodunit so uh check that movie out also really great performances um, but yeah, what do you think about this theory? I just wanted to make this quick little video because I wanted to make it a while back, but uh, I kind of forgot. <laughs> so I uh, just want to hear your thoughts down below. Who do you think this kid is? Am I thinking too far into it? Do you not think that this is who it is? Could this just be a random kid and it not have anything to do with the story whatsoever? I just find it 
kind of find it weird that they had this behind the scenes photo before we got the release of the trailer and in the trailer we got nothing of this scene so it makes me think that there is something hidden here uh, this is a very important scene so yeah uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts so let me know in the comment section below all right that's all I got to bring you today uh, thank you for watching subscribe to Destination Station if you haven't already and I'll see you guys when I see you guys I'll be right back I'll be right back oh.